What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Glorious Mischief and last episode we got our way up to the top of the lift. Although we could have taken a different way, but I did it so that we could get our smithing stones. And this episode we're going to get straight into Blythe's quest line so we can continue down that path. And in order to do that, we've got to go down here. I've already beaten the boss here. Oh my goodness, I didn't summon Torin. Um, I've already beaten the boss in this area, this guy. I did it off screen, but I'll show you the boss dying right now. <laughs> that boss is pretty unimportant because you get to fight him twice, and we'll fight him again in this playthrough probably. Hey, don't shoot me. Here's Blythe. He's right here. What's going on, buddy? I ignored everyone so I can come talk to you. Ah. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. Mm -hmm. I've tried all the gateways. Perhaps it's time to ask Celibus. We should go ask Celibus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he... Let's give him a squeeze. Mm -hmm. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Heck yeah, dude. Let's squeeze Celibus. Also, Nokron is literally right up there. Oh, buddy! Hey! I was trying to show them Nokron. Let me show them Nokron. Uh, it's literally, like, right up there. We're gonna get up there, and that's where you fight uh, a specific thing that's very helpful if you want to get the Mimic tier. Uh, which I'm gonna try to not run that build because it just is so cheesy McGeezy. Uh, I'm not about cheesing this game. As you guys can tell, I'm not even using summons, so... I'm not cheesing! I do not do the cheese. But let's go over to Celibus real quick. Let's go talk to that boy. Alright, Celibus. Let's go and say hello to you then, friend. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, last episode I was complaining about the fact that I couldn't find one of my blue markers. You know, I just ended up following it. <laughs> and it was tucked away. I should have been able to find it, but literally it wasn't visible on the overmap. And it was only there if I went in and like went directly to it. So I just went to it and I just cut it out. So I don't have an extra one anymore. So yay, now I know exactly where I'm going. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Celibus. Oh, so excited to put the teeth to him. Come on, Blythe. Let Celibus know it was good, baby. I love that we're both... I'm wearing the Blythe helmet, and I'm like, hmm? I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a Are we under... I have enough. Knock run? Well, you're asking me about that. I... The task was left to you and the Mungle, was rude. it not? Not only are you incompetent... Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll <laughs> let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. Selen? She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. All right. Well, we've got Celibus's introduction. So let's go ahead. And go to her. She's all the way down in here. Um, as you can see, I already met her once before. That's her little stuff right there. She's guarded by a pumpkin head boss early game. I was just exploring and leveling up, and I just uh, can't went through there real quick, and it was no problem. So let's go. All right, let's go talk to this girl. I got an introduction, yeah, baby. You are a tadpole when it comes to <laughs> so to become a snail. Let's learn. But actually, well, is not a name I ever wanted to hear. Not again. a name I want to hear either, girl. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. Excellent. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family mm -hmm. and the fate of your mistress Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations, and in a crushing victory, arrested their cycle. He's so strong, he now could stop the stars. The that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too would Rani's destiny. Mm -hmm. So basically, Radan tried to stop Rani from, well, she killed a lot of the people and started the war, and Radan was like, nah, she believes in the stars as like the fates, and Radan was like, uh uh, ain't gonna happen, baby, and so he stopped the stars so she couldn't complete her fate or complete all of that, and, um, yeah, he's holding back all of the fate in this war. So we have to beat Radon, but in order to do that, we have to go up the Grand Lift. Which, once you beat 
Godric, the Grafted, and you beat, uh, what's her name, uh, Renala, you can come across here and go to this little gate right here, which is what we'll do real quick. We'll go to the Grand Lift of Dictus. Yeah, I misspoke earlier about the, 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 what's it called? The Dectus Medallion. I said it was about Nakron, not about Nakron, but we need it to get into Nakron because we need it to get up here. And in order to trigger Radon, we basically have to go up here. So we have to hoist the medallion. There's a second medallion, which we'll get into how to get. Don't worry. We'll go to secret places. Medallion! It was so fun. <laughs> the knights are like, all right, you can come inside and we'll let the lift up for you. <laughs> We're heading up, dude. <laughs> yeah. So this is, we could go up the way that we went last episode or we could take this way. Either way is fine. I went up the other way because it's like, yeah, as I said before, we need the smithing stone fives and there's a ton of them in there um, and it's just easy to grab them. We still need a couple more. I think I still need like four more to max up my weapons, but there's other ways to get them too. So we'll get them real quick. But that way just cuts out a lot of the waiting for either bell bearings or other stuff like that. And now we here, baby. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this area is awesome, by the way. Uh, we're going to be getting into the city, and there's a sneaky little Morgoth fight hidden along the way. Oh, yes. I like fighting the extra Morgoth. Uh, as if you don't get to fight him enough. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Look at this dude. Dudes. <laughs> Hello. Lapping your feet. Oh, you're doing a stomp. No thanks. You may stomp at me as much as you like, friend. Cause you're gone. Whoa. Ooh, that's a nice little chunk of change. Twenty-three hundred echoes. <laughs> I said I was gonna call them blood echoes last time. I couldn't resist. It's not echoes. They're runes. Oh, this game makes me want to play Bloodborne so bad. Every time I see that yellow bar on my health, I'm like, time to regain it. <laughs> I think Bloodborne, I don't know if it's my favorite one of these games. Oh my gosh, there's this little stuff in, he's in the ground. Love that. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite FromSoft game, but it's pretty close up there. Like I love, um, I think Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, this game, and Sekiro all have like very special places in my heart. They're such fun games. Uh, Sekiro is so different from all these games, too. It's really fun to play Sekiro. And it also is, like, the most cinematically awesome game. Um, and especially since there's not any, like, builds and stuff like that, it's just pure play style. And that's awesome. I love that kind of stuff in games, where it's like, you just have become better at the game. It's not a question of, oh, I've made a broken build that works. It's just you getting good. And that's what FromSoft games are all about. Get good, noob. Yeah, good. <laughs> you will hear that so many times if you play these games. Get good, bruh. Just get good. So yeah, we're up here. That's the city we were trying to get into right there. We got a lot of stuff to do up here now. Hello. Whee. And we got that. I need to find the map of this area, which I think might be right up there. Is it? Ooh. Nope. So we'll go up there and we'll do some mappage. Mappage. Because the map is kind of crucial. Once you get the maps, you can actually, like, start to explore a lot smarter. I do a lot of the exploring off camera because, like I said, I'm trying to keep this to, a, like, a contained series. I don't want to run a 50 to 100 episode series on this because I totally could. Because this game is so girthy. Um, I want it to be nice and contained and fun. So that's what we're doing. Hello. Anyone in here? Hello! Look at you boys! Oh! Dodge and bleed! And the bleed is awesome. Hello! Oh, can I jump him? He's so high. I can't jump him. I gotta bleed him. 
That's why melee builds are rough in these games. Because it's like there's so many flappers. Ooh, I thought I could get him. I did. Ooh, you gotta love breaking guard. Um, so in this game, I should have mentioned it a while ago. There's a bunch of different meters that you never see and never know about unless you're like paying attention all the time. Which is that um, there's hyper armor, uh, which in this game is broken by poise. Uh, there's bleed buildups for your bleed. There's a bunch of different things that are building up constantly without actually showing you a meter. Hey, don't. I don't really have anything to do with that guy. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things to pay attention and a lot of things going on beyond the surface. But yeah, there's a lot of builds around armor break so that that way you can just get straight to it. And it's I'm very curious to see if like armor break is a bigger thing in the DLC because I think that there's going to be like a damage nerf. I'm not sure in the areas of the DLC. Beast blood. Uh, which will keep it so that you have to... I don't know if you'll have to churn out more damage or what you'll have to do, but... Um, I think all of our damage is going to get nerfed in the DLC, which is rude. Pardon. Hello. Oh, he speared me. I'll have to repay the favor. <laughs> Ballista. Don't do it. Uh, there's also going to be quite a good friend up here in just a second. So let's get up here. Are you going to toot your horn? <laughs> the horn toots. Hey, friend. Oh, you came. You came to come and get me. I'm going to clear out some of these guys just because right up there is a problem. Ooh, what's going on, buddy? Thanks, bud. Whee! <laughs> He's, he flamed me. Pardons. Take a little bit of that. Hello. Don't mind if I do the dance. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Oh, you broke my dance. <laughs> it was you, the tutor. You tooted the horn. <laughs> Ow. Let me get around you, big shield boy. Fine, be that way. Wee. Whoops. My jumpy jumps. There we go. That'll do. That'll do, pig. So you've got a couple techniques that you can do with this guy. Which you can either run past him. Which is a, a hot technique. And then you can come back and deal with him. Or, ooh, the Golden Knights. These guys are kind of problems. I'm going to sneak past him real quick. Um, yeah, you can sneak past this guy because he's going to come in hot. And then you can go back and uh, deal with him once you get the uh, thing that's right in there. The save spot. Ooh. Ooh. Look at these guys. Yeah, these guys are obnoxious. Double tree sentinels. We're just moving past. Ooh. And we'll get our little sight. And we'll get... All of our stuff loaded. Oh, they follow you? Are they not blocked? That's hilarious. Double tr Is that double seeds? Yes. Yeah, they're leaving. They're not about us. So this is the area I was talking about. Sorry. And there's the map! Yay! Map. I love how the music's still going in there. Like, no, we're not. We're not coming, dude. <laughs> it ain't happening, brother. <laughs> uh, Flaskies? Add charge. Four golden seeds. Woo! That's rude, dude. Rude dude with attitude. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure... There's a couple of bell bearings. First of all, going down there, super clutch. Let's go to the church real quick. Get that, because there's usually good stuff at the church. Uh, crone reader again. And then we've got to go over here to get into the city, because this way is blocked. So we're going to head this way. Put that as two. But first, let's go church it up, baby. Oh, is my stuff still on there? I need to turn that off. I'll do that in a second. But either way, we're going to the church. At least I think this is a church. We'll figure it out. There's usually, yeah, 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 church. At the churches, there's usually um, things that upgrade your, um, your healing pots, which is super clutch. So it's definitely a worthwhile endeavor. Ooh, look at that little boy. Hello, boy. Ooh. Minor Erd Tree Church. Love to see it. A craft book. 
I haven't done... Well, that's not true. I've done, like, a tiny bit of crafting in this playthrough. Not much. Not much. <laughs> Golden Order Seal. Ooh. What, are, what am you? Let's see. I don't know. Okay, let's talk to Melina. Melina, Melina sorry. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Ooh. Shall I share them with you? Yeah, let us know. I'm interested. Marika's own words. I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith. Of those blissful okay. early days of blind belief are long past my comrades. Oh, I learned that. Great. Um, well, that seal is something. I couldn't figure out what it is, but here we are. It's apparently for uh, people who are building different builds than me, so that's fine. I'm not going to live and die by it. So, oh, look at that guy. He's coming up. Uh, so we are going to go head down. Hello. Don't mind a little bonkage. Um, we're going <laughs> to... I don't know why I like to hit things on the way out. Uh, we're going to head across to the other side. I should go down there and do a little famine, but I'll do that a little later. I'll do a little famine a little later, all right? For now, we're just going to head inside the city and get into the goodness of the city. Oh, I love this whole area. This whole city is just really cool, and it's really fun to get in here, and there's a bunch of... I, I would say that there's. this is where it starts getting into, like... There's some difficult bosses and some difficult, you know, things to encounter in this space, so. I'm prepared, I suppose, as much as I'm going to be. <laughs> Hello. I love the statues in here, too. Statues are awesome. Sneaking through. Mm, look at that. Beautiful, dude. Ooh, more. More Earth Trees. More golden seeds. So, this whole area is the remains of a big old battle, obviously. But there's just a little tiny dude who's just scampering around. Look at that guy. Who is that guy? He's just a little guy. Oh, isn't he just a friendly little guy? Oh, could he be just a friendly guy? Yeah, he's not a friendly guy. He is. Morgoth. And he's grumpy. Oh, he hits me with the sauce. And he's more powerful than before. He's got his delay attack again. Don't. Don't do it. But he doesn't know we're also more powerful than before. Well, I'm sure he does know it. Wee. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he timed it right. Ooh, he timed it right again. Oh my goodness, the triple dip. That's too many dips. Don't be triple dipping on me. I triple dip on you. Ooh, the double dip. I don't appreciate the amount of dippage he's doing. Oh, I thought I dodged that one. Whoa! Just out of range. Oh, he's giving me the shambies. He's giving me the shambies. I don't appreciate your shambies. All right, all right. Have some blood. <laughs> All right, Morgoth. Taste the feet for the second time. Now he gives that, which is fine. Um, I'll show you what it does real quick, in case anyone's actually interested. I'm pretty sure, yep, it raises maximum stamina, which is really nice, actually, for our build. I think I might swap out this guy. Because our stammies, we need the stammies. We need all the stammies we can get. Let's go to that uh, side of grace. And let's get on cooking. But that's the second Morgoth fight. That's always, uh, it's fun. It's super easy to miss because a lot of times people just walk by him. And if you don't turn back to see who's talking to you, you're like, what? <laughs> There's just a dude talking to me? <laughs> easy to miss. melina has got more information for us? What you gotta say, baby girl? You're talking a lot right now. Oh, what is it? What? Yeah, share them with us. What is she thinking? Poor America. 
my child make of thyselves that which he but Lord or God to become aught at all. Ye will be forsaken, mm. amounting only to sacrifices. Mm. What a Shall thing. I Let my hand share them with me. Let's get some vigor, because we're we're our little healthy healths are a little low. Let's be real about it. We ain't got a lot of healthy healths. I'm gonna peek out this door because I like peek. Um, basically, the lift or not the lift, the little like side alleyway that we took would take us um, a different route to get here. Let me show you where that spits us out. That spits us out over here, or not over here? Sorry, right up here. That's the magma worm. So we come in through here. We get that, and then we come into where we are now. Um, and there's a bunch of fun stuff over here, but we are going to be trying to progress if we can. So let's sneak on through and head over to the little side shabble. And then I might take a little detour and grab some upgradey stuffs because I'm going to need it soon. My weapons are fine, but they're not going to last forever, especially not in this space. I need to get those hushers upgraded. I don't know why I like to hit things on my way through. Don't judge me. <laughs> It's just something I like to do. Ooh. Oh, look at you. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Ooh. Okay, I have to dip over here to get to the path. My bad. So we'll take the path over, and there is a knight guarding the entrance of the city that we're trying to get into. So we're going to have to fight him, because he's a problem. And he is kind of difficult, to be real. Just to be honest. So we're gonna sneak on through. Ooh, Erd Tree. Or not Erd Tree, Thingy Majig. Who's coming to fight me? Someone's coming to fight me. Oh, look at these boys. They were shabbling. Look at that shabble boy. Oh, he's a grunt. Hey, bud. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's fine. I don't really need anything in here, so I'm gonna sneak on page to the other side. Here's another Erd tree. Ooh, item. Thank you. Spam. I spam triangle when I'm near items. I'm like a panicked spam. <laughs> and we go over here. What's at this Erd tree, anyways? Just out of curiosity. Purple item. Ooh, Crystal Tear. I love to get Crystal Tears. Ooh, it's one of those guys. Hi, friends. These guys are snails. They're death snails. <laughs> Don't really want anything to do with the death snails. But we can go down and deal... Is that... I think it was a demi-human down there? Question mark? They're not that hard to beat, usually. I say that, and every single time in this playthrough where I'm like, those things are easy. They have smacked me. If you remember the hands from last episode. <laughs> Those things smacked me when I was just talking the slightest of bits of trash. They are just letting me know. Also, glowing schools, I know that they're not worth it. They give you a hundred, a hundred runes. Just let me have my, my peace with it, okay? Just let me be at peace with collecting my hundred runes. Oh, hi, friend. Hello. Hi, Mark. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? <laughs> oh, if you've ever seen that movie, it is a gem of a movie. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's just one of these guys. It's one of the Forsaken Bumpas. Let's just get one of these guys down. Garden. He's guarding something that I want. Oh, he's got the, he's got the handy jammy barks. Takes... Takes blood. Ooh, they're all throwing stuff. Can you stop throwing stuff at me? Oh, I don't have any healing. Oh my lord. Why have I chosen to live this life? You know what I'm gonna do? I need to get out of here and I need to find a little sight of grace. So I'm gonna go grab this. I'm gonna totally cheese this encounter. Thank you. Cheesing. And then we're gonna go find somewhere to heal. I can go fight those guys later. Oh, save spot. Thank you, you've been kind. Oh, I'll come back here. At some point in the future. But for right now, 
I got places to go, baby. Let's head back up and go deal with that boy. I'm tired of his nonsense. All right, so we've gotten to the hero's grave. Yeah, I need to get back up there. That's the plan. Deal with that boy. Get entrance to the city. City it up. <laughs> Woo! Bears. Don't bear at me, bears. Don't get your bear grumps going on. So we can take a shortcut up to the top. Woosh. And then we're just going to sneak back over where that dude was. We're going to take him out, baby. We're going to take him out. What's up, boss? I don't mean any harm. I'm just here to come and fight the dude who you guys are guarding. Who is a pain in the butt. Missed me. Ooh, he missed again. Oh, he didn't miss that time. Does a lot of damage with the mega hammer. How come I? Oh, that's why. I had the wrong healers equipped. <laughs> oh, weird. That's so funny. I must have pressed down. Ooh. Well, that was a fool's errand. Now we've got the healing ready. I think we'll do a little better. <laughs> All right, bud. I'm coming after you. And dodge. And bleed. Ooh, hit me with the sauce. No sauce. No sauce allowed in this town. Roll. Come on, do it again. No, he didn't do it again. Jump and leap. Ooh, but he did hit the hammer. No thanks, buddy. We're going to stay up top. We're going to stay topped up. Yep. And turn and bleed. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, we got him a big bleed. Oh, no, thanks. Here he comes. Oh, he's got his... He's got his goop. I don't like his goop. No, thanks. And bleed. Oh, his goop hits hard. That's a lot of goop. No, thank you on the goop. Oh, he's gonna do it. And... Nope. Okay, heals. Ooh, that's a spicy jalapeno. And bleed. Ooh, nice. Good dodge. Love to see it. And bleed. Love to see it some more. No! Oh my gosh. When he hits you with that, it's like... It's night-night time. And no thanks. Woo! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, it didn't hurt. Nope. Nope. Dodge. Ooh, is that death? Oh my gosh, I had one help. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. Heals. Ooh. Okay, come on. Ooh, I missed. I should have dodged. Alright, we heals, we heals, we heals, we heals. Flames. No. Oh, gosh. Hit us with the flame. Turn and... Ooh, we just got him. Ooh. He was a problem. 50,000 souls... <laughs> Thanks, bud. That's a level. Let me get my 44 st souls, though, real quick. Nice. <laughs> he gave us the business once, that's for sure. Oh. So now we can level up and we can head in there. But first, I think there's a boy that we need to go and visit. Because in order to finish out, um, or not to finish out, but to get to the next step in Ronnie's quest line, we have to defeat a very important person. Not only a very important person, but a very difficult person. <sighs> and I'm not exactly looking forward to the fight because it's difficult, but I really like it. So, let's go head over to exactly where we need to go. Which is all the way down here. We gotta go beat Radon. Ooh, he's gonna kick our butts. Maybe? Let's go in with a positive attitude. We're gonna kick his butt. Okay. We're here. Now, there's a bunch of trebuchets all along the cliffside here. 
and they're gonna lob stuff at us. So, we dodge and weave as required. Unless they are asleep. Are they asleep? <laughs> Did no one notice me? Wow, that's a delight. I guess maybe... Maybe when the festival's on, they don't even care? We got a festival to attend, my dude. Yeah, they're all gone. Oh, that's cool. When the fest is on, they don't care. Okay. <laughs> so we're here. We can... Can we get in? Do I need to do the whole side thing? Side. Let's go dabble around. Don't kill yourself. Good. No killing. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now one. <laughs> no bats for me. Two. No bats for me. <laughs> uh, we gotta go along the side. And sneak up. Oh, into the pit of wonders. Is there, any, is there anything valuable in this door? Is there? I don't know. Pretty sure we gotta take the later. Get up there. Is this a shortcut door? Yeah. From the other side. Rude. <sighs> We're done. It gets me so pumped up. Because you can bring Blythe into this, and you can bring, um, you know, your pot friend, who's the best. I love pot man. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to, technically. And, ooh, no, thanks. Have some bleed. Ooh! Have some bleed for you! Jeez, I missed double bleed. Oh, don't, don't fuck it at me, huh? Don't. Thank you. Let me just do a little for you. Oh, she screech. But she also attacks. That one's dead. I'm gonna heal. Don't poison me. Oh, she did. Have some juice. And more juice. <laughs> Cover my sword with juice. <laughs> Alright, we're heading in there. It's funny, this castle has different boss encounters depending on what time you get in here. Because if you come earlier, you have to fight two dudes in the courtyard. And they're a problem, but they're all dudes you fought before. And if you come at the right time, it's the whole festival. So, you know, it's always it's always fun when you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Especially early in the game where you're like, I thought I was supposed to come here, was I not supposed to come here? Um, but also, kind of like, to be fair, like, I feel like this game, on your first playthrough, you just kind of like, go everywhere. And you're hoping for the best, because you're like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go most of the time. <laughs> it takes some time to, like, figure out what exactly is, like, helpful and progress. <gasps> There's a puppy dog down there. I seen him. I seen the puppy dog. Puppy dog, come here for the puppage. You've been pupped. Ooh. All right. We're sneaking around. Hello, friend. And other friends. Look at all these boys just sitting in, the, in their little room. Pardon my murder fest. But I don't like you. <laughs> oh, only Elden Ring could make you chuckle at the killing of people. But it's like one of those things where his friend... These guys, they look so much like the guy in um, Godric's space. And these don't five. I needed those. Um, where you're like, you know... I'll kill them all, because that dude was a jerk. Um, also, when I beat Godfrey, Godric this last time, because I had to fight him again since my hard drive exploded, um, I saved the guy. So I'll show him kicking that dude um, and talking trash right over here. He's gone. He gone. 
Oh, he gone, baby. But yeah, he was just... He, if you don't kill him at the beginning, which I had a lot of faith I wasn't going to um, get killed in that run through. Uh, if you don't kill him, he just chit chats, which is funny. So, yeah, that's what I did. I was like, I won't kill him because I ain't going to die. Let me up. Let me in. <laughs> oh, Eric Andre, you're a gem. All right. So I can leap onto that. And then I can leap down here. And there is a lion over here. Over yonder, the lion. Whee! And there's also a little... Oh, look at that little path in. Path? No thanks. Ugh. What is this door? Man, I swear, all these castles, they're so big. <laughs> I can't. I can't get through the doors. I appreciate it. Um, they're so big, and they have so many, like, little roundabout ways to go through it. Like, I was going through Rayo Lucaria again, because I wanted to do some... I wanted to open up the three... Belf or the four belfries. And in order to do that, you have to get all of the um, specific keys in there. And uh, you have to go on top of the roofs of Rayo Lucaria in order to get one of them. And it was just like, I was sitting there and I was like, man, I've, like, explored this area pretty thoroughly... And there's so much more of it that I really hadn't touched, so it's kind of cool. Blythe, he's here. And there's our pot friend. Hmm. I must admit, mm -hmm. I was a little worried, but it looks like you're still in one piece. Heck yeah, bud. You must have heard by now, right? Mm -hmm. That Starsker Dradan holds Rani's fate in stasis. Yeah, buddy. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now. Stand against the demi way ahead is pleasingly simple. So I was not going to summon anything for this fight. But I love Alexander and I love Blythe, so I might summon them. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. Oh, I'm excited. To think I could face a great champion of the show. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But <laughs> the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Heck yeah, buddy. We're all in. All right, I need to go talk to this guy up here. And we can start the festival. The festival. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's Before so scary to fight begin, Radon. Allow me to paint you the full picture. His horse is so cute. And Radon is insane. General Radon is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot. Those little force. So long gone. He's continued to grow because of the scarlet rot, and like he's becoming more beast-like. Um, so he just eats people now, which is great. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Terrifying. Ugh. Howling at the sky. But so, now, you know. You must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radon Festival. All right. Um. So, a little bit more intra or uh, insight into. Radon as a as a character. Uh, as I said before, he's like holding back the stars, which is stopping Ronnie from finishing her whole story thing, because um, yeah, he didn't agree with what she was doing. Also, like she technically killed a lot of his family, so that's not great, and all the all the people in that area. Um, so you know, he wasn't about that. 
Um, but his horse. So he's got a little tiny horse that he rides. And he used to ride it when he was, uh, you know, a normal sized human. And he can't ride it anymore, really, because he's gigantic and the horse is tiny. So in order to still ride the horse, and it looks hilarious, by the way, because the horse is tiny. He's supposed to be this huge, imposing figure, and he is, and his horse is just so tiny. Um, but in order to ride his horse still, whom he loves very much, he mastered gravity magic so that he can ride it still. It's so cute. He's like, I'm just going to make sure that I can levitate myself so I don't have to say goodbye to my horse. Oh, the cutest little thing ever. And he is terrifying. <laughs> so let's radon it up, my dudes. <sighs> Wish me luck, please. The trick with radon is to dodge his stuff because he comes at you hot and heavy. Ooh, I did not dodge any of his stuff. Ooh, come on. All right, we're bringing our friends in. Oh, he whacked us with the saws. Ooh, here it comes. All right, now we bring the horse. Now that he's doing that thing, we bring the horse. Woo! All right, now he's going bananas. Ready? All right, let's go, baby. Woo! Ooh, yeah, he does some damage. And he's look how big he is. And once he gets those things going too, he gets even scarier. Ooh. As with most of the bosses in this game, underneath him is kind of the safest spot. Oh no thanks! Oh Alexander. It makes me sad when Alexander gets killed because he gets hit in one shot. He always says it at the end, he's like, I was cracked in one shot of Radon. Ooh, we dodge. Heals. Oh, buddy. Let's hit him with... Oh, he's gone. That's not great. So it's quiet. And you're like, great, we beat him. Hooray. Nope, there he is. Ready? You have to dodge him. <laughs> I thought I timed it perfectly. Turns out I didn't time it perfectly. You literally can't... Um, if you miss that dodge, he just kills you right away. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's like he does a ton of damage when he comes flying through. Usually he does it at the end of the fight, so it's kind of fun to see it that early. Hooray, Radon. I'm going to come and take you down a notch then, but I'm just going to take you down. We're going to make it so easy on ourselves. <laughs> We're going to dodge. We're going to bring our friends. <laughs> I'm not going to get hit with all of his stuff, and I'm not going to be crying and upset. Come on, friends. It's so funny that you summon them all this far away. Because it's like, wow, you've got such a long run in to get there. Come on. Whee! All right. Now, whoops, I did a cheer. <laughs> I was like, huzzah to Radon, friends. <laughs> all right, we got Alexander. I'm pretty sure that we got Blythe. Whee! Come on, baby. Oh, look at him. He's on skates. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he hit us with some sauce. It's the sauce I don't like. All right, I don't need to be greedy. I'm being greedy. <laughs> patches. <laughs> he summoned patches, and immediately he's like, dude, I don't want any of this business. <laughs> patches is so worthless. It's hilarious. Okay, yeah, we got on his back. That's beautiful. Ooh, big dude. And... Get your tiny horse out of here. Yep. Hit him with some bleed in the back. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he's getting grumpy. That's gonna heal. Yep, let him do his thing. And then hit him with the sauce. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Oh, no, he jumped. I really don't like that. Let's go. Let's dodge. Let's dodge this. Where's he at? Where is he? Nice. Okay, perfect. He crashed down. He killed Blythe? I don't like that. 
Oh, he's got he's got the big the big goops. Ooh, okay, I need to get my stands back. I'm being a fool. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, Redan. No thanks. Oh, look at all those. It's purple goops. Ooh. He killed him. That's not great. Alright, I need to stop being such a fool. Alright, cool. Redon, Redon, Redon. <laughs> we got him, the great rune, and we got the remembrance of him. Oh, he's awesome. It's so fun beating him. 87,000 souls. And there's some pretty big pushback from beating Redon, which is crazy, but it's part of the ending that we need. So remember how he said that he was holding back all of the stars? So they're moving again, and they're moving pretty quick. I love that we have Blythe's hat on. <laughs> so, a giant star just fell, or a giant meteor slash star just fell to the ground, and just blew up a pretty large portion of the map. <laughs> Which is funny because I feel like the first time that happens to you and you're playing this game, you're like, oh, wow, that is interesting. A giant flash happened over there and you don't think anything of it. And then you go back to where, like, the crash happened and you're like, oh, OK, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> a red mark made on the map. So. There's a little red mark. Starfall crater. And that's. The area where that hit, right here, where this area used to be. We're going to check that out in a second. But first, we have things to deal with. Because there's a little plate of grace that we can hit. There's also things on this this uh, beach that you can get. There's a couple of items down there. Nothing super crazy or crucial, uh, but it's pretty awesome. And there, look, there's Blythe. He's so happy with us. Let's talk to him. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. He's so chill about what, what just happened. What a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? Mm -hmm. A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Where Rani's fate would be decided. I... Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Heck yeah, buddy. I love that he's so, like, sentimental about the beating of Radon because he's like, man, what a what an absolute legend. Like, Blythe clearly respects him. And, yeah, it's Let's cool. Let's the Fallen Star. We'll go into battle again. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate. The curtain's rising. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. We'll take care of that. Oh, we'll take care of that. No problem, bud. Uh, so that site, we're going to head there in just a little bit. But first, let's get our two levels in. And yeah, I am going to leave this episode here. I feel like this is a great place to end off. Oh, let's actually first, let's go talk to this guy. Let's go talk to him because he's just a delight. And I love him so much. Ah, hello there. <laughs> um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, oh. am nothing but a croc. Hmm. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. Oh. And as such. Oh. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have <laughs> it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right yes, here. Yes, there is. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly <laughs> fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Mm -hmm. mm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> so the pots are filled with bodies and people, by the way. So, 
just when you thought they were the cutest things ever, they're kind of horrific and gross. But I am going to leave this episode here. We got a ton of stuff done. We beat Radon, which is awesome. Um, and he really didn't take that long for us to beat. He's a, a difficult fight, so and this build is definitely not optimized for <laughs> big bosses like that. But man, it was fun to do. So thanks for coming along with me, and next time we'll get up to some more shenanigans. But I'll see you then. So peace. We're getting glorious. Getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot. Let's eat some biscuits.